So about a month ago, I was planning to do an underground sprinkler system, but above ground using the Hunter MP rotators and a quick snap system. If you wanna watch that video, I put a link to it. It's not the best audio and video quality wise, but I mean, it was my first ever YouTube video, so give me a break. So I already installed the first section a couple of weeks ago. Today we will be installing the second section and taking a look at the results and seeing if this actually works. So stick around. Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Sam, I'm your average Joel Lawnut and I'm not a professional at all, I don't do this for a living. So my thinking is if I can do it, then you most definitely can do it as well. So before I get started, I need to measure out where the spray heads roughly are going to be so I get that good head-to-head -head coverage. So this is roughly where the first one needs to be and this is an MP Rotator 2000. And then we have a 1000 over here and this is where the third one is going to be and this is an MP Rotator side strip. So hopefully these three will actually cover this entire area. Hopefully, we'll see. All right, so now I know where I want them. Now I just need to get the spray heads on the ground without cutting the robo mower cable. I mean, I've done that three times already this year, doing this stuff, scarifying, and I'm getting quite sick of it. So hopefully we can avoid that this time. Out of all the places I could have chosen to dig, I chose one where there's a big rock in the way. So I'll have to get that out. So we're done with the first one. Let me show you how it looks. So this is how the first one looks. Looks pretty nice. And then we have the quick snap right here. So this one's done and let's just move on to the next one now. So these ones are hopefully a lot easier since they're just going in the French drain. So that's just getting a lot of gravel out of the way. So hopefully these will go down a bit easier or faster at least. So let's start digging. I actually hit the foundation of the house so I can't get this down any further but I mean this will work just fine since I'm not mowing here anyway I'm using the trimmer on the edge so this will do just fine so the second one is done as well this is how it looks so first one's done second one's done and now we'll move on to the third one That's the third one. We got all three in place now. And I could put the hose under the gravel as well, but I mean, that's the whole point of the system that I don't want to do this. I don't want to put any pipes or hoses underground since it's Sweden, winter's coming and that will probably make pipes and hoses burst or crack. All right, so I did three sprinklers now and I already did three before. So let's have a look at those. So here you can see that's an MP3000, also in my French drain. It's not really a French drain, but it looks like one. And here we have the second one and then we have the third one over here so i have six sprinklers down so far so three of them will cover this entire section which is zone one the three i just did will cover zone two which is the side section and then i have zone three in front of the house and i'll still have that one left to do so the idea is if i want to water this area zone one i'll just connect the hose to this connector and then when i'm done with this area then I'll just disconnect it. I'll connect it to this one, and this will cover this whole area. Hopefully this will be an easy way to just connect and disconnect depending on which area I actually want to water. So let's start out with watering section one, see how that works. So I'll go put on the water and see how this works. I'm actually quite excited to see if this actually works the way I intended it to. We'll see. I'm 
I'm not sure if you actually see this on camera, but it looks so awesome. It's actually working exactly the way I intended it to. Let's see if I can capture this on camera a bit better. It's really hard to tell if you can actually see this on camera. Hopefully you can see this at least. This one is actually reaching all the way over to that one over there. And that one over there is reaching all the way here. It has good head-to-head -head coverage. It looks awesome. I'm super excited about this. Now I don't have to move the oscillating sprinkler four million times to actually cover my entire lawn. Now I can just snap on and snap off whichever section I actually want to water. So now let's see how this works in the second section. Hopefully it's just as good. So I'll just release this and move it to the other section. So now I can just snap it on this section and uh, that will run section two. Alright, so these two definitely need adjusting. Right now they're watering the house, so let me just adjust them. Alright, I've adjusted the sprinklers and I'm soaking wet. So let's try this again. So I'll just connect this for zone two. This one looks perfect. Let's see how these look. Alright, so this one can actually reach just about over here so it's just about head-to-head -head coverage the other one though so this one isn't actually reaching all over to the other head so this one does not have head-to-head -head coverage i think i'll need to replace this one for an mp2000 but other than that it looks pretty good i'm not sure if the camera picks this up but it works exactly the way i want it to work all that is left to do is just take my cups and do some measuring just to make sure I'm covering all the area, I'm not having any dry spots anywhere. So let's put these out in different spots and see that I'm actually covering everything. So now I've placed my cups and now let's run this for 10 minutes and see how much there's in them. All right, so that's 10 minutes. Let's see what we have in the cups. So this is actually just to measure how far I can reach with each sprinkler. It's not about how much water I'm actually putting down. So I actually would just wanna see that there's some water in every cup. So there's barely any water in here, just some. So this tells me that this is right on the edge of the sprinkler, which is fine because that one over there and this one over there, they both actually reach up to here. So that's fine. I just don't wanna see any empty cups. At least it's not empty, which means I can actually reach over here. This one actually has quite a bit. I definitely reach over here. All right, so this one is pretty much empty. So that tells me I'm having a hard time reaching the actual edge here. This one actually has quite a bit. So I'm definitely catching this area. And this one is basically dry. All right, so that means that the 1000 here and the MP1000 here, they might both need to be switched to 2000s because I'm not reaching all the way over to the edge. Because the 2000 that is over here, this one is actually reaching all the way here. So if I swap out these to MP2000s and then lower the actual spread or how far it reaches, then I should be able to reach the edges here. But overall, it looks pretty good. I'm actually super happy about this. This turned out way better than I expected. And now this way, I don't have to dig anything beneath the ground except for the spray heads. So now I can just connect my sprinkler here when I want to do this section, zone one. And then I connect it over here when I want to do section two. And then I'll need to do another section in the front, but this looks awesome. I'm super happy with this. I'm actually super excited. No more oscillating sprinkler. <laughs> Then of course comes the winter test. I mean, winter is coming, this is Sweden. We'll see how this holds up. So when winter does come, I'm just gonna remove the hose. I'm not gonna remove the, sp uh, the spray heads. So let's see how they hold up this winter, but so far it's looking great. I really hope this works out. All right, that's it for today. I hope you liked the video. And if you did, please share, like, subscribe, and all that YouTube stuff so you don't miss any future videos. And I'm actually super excited about this. I'm so glad with the results. I 
think it turned out way better than I expected it to. I'm so happy to not be dealing with any pipes or anything like that. It's just regular hoses and those I can take away this winter. Hopefully they keep going next year and I can just keep on using it. I'm really excited about this. I would advise anyone to try this out if you're like me and you don't like piping or digging too much. It doesn't involve that much digging. So I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you in the next one.